Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruin. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Amy controls Mox Opal and a Dark Steel Citadel. Her hand contains another Mox Opal and a really cool 3-mana card that she really wants to play this turn. Is this possible? Okay, so I think we can all agree that there's no way to do this unless she plays the Mox Opal in her hand in order to turn on Metalcraft. So the question is whether it's possible to activate the Mox Opals in play before the Legend Rule makes Amy bin one of them, which will take her back down to just two artifacts. If you've been following the channel for a while now, you probably know that the Legend Rule is a state-based action, which is bad news for Amy because after any spell, such as Amy's Mox Opal, resolves, the game performs state-based action before any player gets priority to cast spells or activate abilities. With this being the case, we can say that it is not possible for Amy to tap Mox Opal first mana before state-based actions make her get rid of one of them. Sorry Amy, good luck top decking another artifact next turn, we've all been there before. Okay, so maybe some people are crying foul right now. But Dave, Mox Opal has a mana ability, you don't need priority to activate those. And well, it is true that Mox Opal's ability is a mana ability. And it is true that mana abilities have special permissions for when you can activate them. But that doesn't mean that you can just go for it anytime you want. You can read the details in the rule that's on screen now, but broadly speaking, you can only activate a mana ability if you have either priority or if something in the game is asking you for a mana payment. One common example is if you're declaring attackers and your opponent has a propaganda. Even though no player gets priority during the part of combat where attackers are declared because something in the game is asking you to pay mana, you would have the opportunity to activate mana abilities during that time. In order to make this trick with Mox Opal work, then we would need some way for the game to ask for a mana payment after Mox Opal resolves, but before state-based actions are performed, which I couldn't think of any way to do. Obviously, casting a spell right after would require a mana payment, but that would also require priority, which we already said was a non-starter. There are some special actions which require mana payments. These are not considered to be the same thing as casting a spell or activating an ability, so they tend to be a pretty promising place to look in rules play puzzles like this one. But unfortunately, all the ones that involve paying mana, such as revealing a morph, putting a companion into your hand, or even buying out of Leonin Arbiter, you need to have priority to take them. Now, if we were talking about a Dromar's Cavern instead of a Mox Opal, then the situation would be different. Unlike with the Mox Opal, the thing that makes you sacrifice Dromar's Cavern is a triggered ability. That means it goes on the stack and can be responded to just like any other. If you don't want to return a land, you can put the sacrifice ability onto the stack, tap Dromar's Cavern for mana, and then sacrifice it. But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.